Hey everyone, Ryzen here. And Liz. And uh, Patriots lose 41 to 33. And I'm gonna be blunt about it, it's off of really bad officiating in the game. Patriots uh, would have won this game without two horrible, horrible calls on replay. I don't understand why you have replay if you don't make a consistent call with it. Mm. There was one catch, I don't even remember who caught it because I'm so pissed right now. Where the guy caught it, bobbled it, that means you lose possession. Was going out of bounds. Going out of bounds, one foot down, second foot out of bounds. That is not a touchdown, that is not a catch, that was a third down play, they would have had to settle for a field goal. If you watch it in slow motion, you can clearly see first foot down, but then he comes up and he loses the ball. So that's zero feet down now. Then one foot down, two feet down, or one foot down, second foot down, out of bounds. Incomplete pass. And by the way, Chris Collinsworth, even the commentator said, that's not a catch. Yeah. They don't even know what the rule is anymore. Second one, Zach Ertz catches the ball. Takes two steps, dives for the end zone, drops the ball. Ask Des Bryant what that's called. That's an incomplete pass. But no, apparently not in the Super Bowl, it's a catch. And, I, I and, guess in the regular playoffs, it's not a catch. And Antonio, was that Brown? Or no, who was that in the Steelers game that they did that to? Jesse James. Jesse James. Now, the James one, admittedly, was closer and that was more obvious. Yeah, but the but Des Bryant one was like, that was, on. that was the Des Bryant catch. I'm sorry, if one is not a catch, the other is not a catch. Yeah. Period. Stop with the inconsistencies. Again, would have been a field goal. Then the Patriots only need to get a field goal to win the game. Steven Gutzkowski, it's time to move on. Please. He, caught, he missed an extra point and a field goal. With those, they win the game. Matt Patricia, get the hell out, because I am sick and tired of the defense not showing up when it counts. Because every goddamn Super Bowl, Brady has to pull magic out of his ass. And by the way, he did tonight. He threw for 500 yards, and it didn't matter. Because you let Nick Foles throw for 500 yards. Nick Foles. Nick Foles! Frankly, I'm not even happy with Belichick. You sit Malcolm Butler and play Eric Rowe and let him get torched the whole goddamn game and you start him? Like what was on, what? On Alshon Jeffrey, who's over six feet tall? Why did you sign Gilmore? I thought he was to cover tall receivers. By the way, when he was on Jeffrey, guess what Jeffrey did the rest of the game? Nothing. Nothing. This was a shitty game plan by Belichick and by Patricia. Yep. And I know Belichick's a great coach, but when bullshit is bullshit, it's bullshit. <laughs> There's no way around it. The offensive game plan was great. No huddle, tire out the pass rush. It worked. It worked until the end of the game when the Eagles had all that goddamn adrenaline. Yep. The hit on Cooks was uncalled for. Hit on Cooks was uncalled for. That has, on Cooks, that, that has got to be established as a rule. You cannot target a player. I'm getting tired of it. Whether you're targeting or not targeting and you hit You've someone You've got to be ejected. Out. Ejected. Automatic ejection. Whether it's intentional or not. You are encouraging players to deliberately concuss people. It's got to stop. Because you're giving an advantage to the team that is committing the penalty. And then you're not calling it a penalty when the person is a runner. The Patriots tried. They really did. Well, the, the offense was fantastic. You can't ask for any more out of Brady. No. You can't. Period. Frankly, I think Brady should still get the MVP despite losing. Because he outplayed everyone else on that field, including Nick Foles. Yeah, he made a bunch of just... He was amazing. Throws. He was amazing. Brady was. Kick coverage was bad too, by the way. Yeah, that was pretty pathetic. 
special teams as a whole was just not good. It was bad. So, uh, run defense was bad until the second half. It got a little better. I don't understand why when they couldn't get pass pressure, they got a little bit better in the second half. But I don't understand why they didn't try to drop eight back and make Foles throw into really tight windows and see if he could do it. For one drive, just try that. So I now suspect that Butler will probably be gone. Butler will be gone. I wouldn't blame, I don't blame him. him. I, I would want to be gone too. I would be so. I'm. I'm furious that they didn't. I don't even know. What, oh, I'm furious. I don't even it. understand why they didn't. Because start Eric Rowe and Vatamosi were god awful. They were terrible. The only guys that were decent, Chung was okay, and Gilmore was was shut down. Yeah, and Malcolm Brown. That was about it. Malcolm Brown was okay at times, but. By the way, Alan Branch, why was he inactive? I don't know. He was not on the injury list. And you made him inactive. He's your best run stuffer. Maybe he should have played. I don't know. This was a just a terrible defensive game plan. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. This was this was awful. The offense was good, uh, the defense was just terrible. So I terrible. mean I guess I'll try to go through I turned off my laptop. But I mean there's not even anything to go There's not through. Not much to go through. I mean, the the game was the most embarrassing defensive performance by both teams. By the way, if you're the Eagles, you should not be happy with your defense at all. You let up 33 points. We let up 41. So bad for both. Our, the Brady fumbled at the end, but this is one mistake. So yeah. So both teams had a field goal to start. Whoop de doo. And then of course Rowe was awful. Got burned for a touchdown. And, uh, but luckily they, the Eagles missed the extra point because their kicker is garbage. Just like our kicker. You know, they both belong in the garbage bin together. Yeah. We kept saying... And then Steven missed the 26-yard field goal in the second quarter. Because he said to Elliot, hey, what you can do, I can do better. I know it's a bad snap. I don't give a damn. You make a 26-yard field goal. I can make a 26-yard field goal. And I'm not kidding about that. Again, had the dirty hit on Cooks. Tired of the head hunting. Bad defensive game plan. Just bad. Uh, no Butler. Eagles scored again. It was 15 to three in the second quarter. Still. At first, the Patriots couldn't even get screens off of the no huddles. But whatever. Harmon got an interception. It was a lucky interception, to be fair. But still, it was an interception. interception. Patriots cashed in. 15 to 12. My laptop's down here, that's why I'm looking down here. But, unfortunately... Oh yeah, Steven missed the extra point, by the way. Because why not? Let's just miss all the extra points. So that would have been four. That's four. That's four points missed. <laughs> okay. Now, okay. So, Eagles scored before half. It's 22-12. Cut off at some point. Quarter three, yeah, it probably will. Eagles single covered Gronk the whole game. It was a bad idea. So if you're the Eagle fan, if you're an Eagle fan, you should be furious at that game plan. Because it was a terrible idea. So it was 22-19 for the Patriots, or for the Eagles, because the Patriots scored a touchdown. Of course, then, of course, because you know, the Patriots defense. Patricia told them, now we want them to let them score again. So then it was 29 to 19. Oh, and this was the play where you only need one foot and bounce to score. I didn't, I wouldn't realize we were in college football now. I guess we are. It's good to know. So it was 29 19, Eagles. But the Patriots responded and scored in the third quarter again. We're still in the third. 29 26. But guess what? The D sucks. I think they gave up a field goal in the, in the fourth quarter. And it was, uh, I stopped writing at this point, but I think they, they got a field goal. It was 32? Something. To 29? Or to 26. Yeah. And that's when the Patriots scored, took the lead. Brady did what Brady always does in the fourth quarter. He gave you the lead. And you blew it. And then the defense blows it. Now, to be fair, this was the drive where the Des Bryant catch happened. What is a runner in football? I don't know. 
I couldn't tell you because if you ask Des Bryant, it's not taking two steps and diving to the end zone. And it was literally the same play. It was the same play. It was the same play. Even Collinsworth said that's not a that's not a catch based on the rules. Yeah. And the thing is, is that New York does the reversals now. It was supposed to fix this. Well, it didn't. It didn't. And now I think they're going to overreact and they're going to change the... Honestly, I think they didn't overturn them because they're overreacting to the criticism. Probably. But call it consistently, please. So, then Brady got the fumble, one mistake. Uh, he should have just gone down. Eagles missed the two points, by the way, so we scored a touchdown and won the game, but we didn't. We did stop them, though, and they got the ball back, but the Hail Mary, even though Gronk had it in his hands, and then Dorsett decided to just look at the goddamn ball. Mm. Amendola dove for it, but failed, because why not? And we lose, 41-29. to 41-33. to 33. Or 41-33. to 33. So 14 points from the officials, and I don't like to do that, but I'm sorry, off of plays that should be clearly overturned. So now Matt Patricia goes to, to be a head coach. Where he will fail miserably. After losing a Super Bowl. And so will McDaniels. They can both leave. They I'm can sick both of them leave. Both. The truth is, I would, I'd rather just have Brady call all the plays. Let the guy call the plays. I'm not even happy with Belichick in this game. Brady said he wasn't going to retire. Do you think that's still true? Yeah, he's not going to retire. Whatever, they'll just have to get him ring six next year. He still was amazing in this in this game, so. Brady was amazing in the game. Incredible. And no matter what he did, it's not good enough because... Felt like they were playing the Giants again. Yeah. This felt like a Giants... This felt like the Carolina game, but with the the Giants outcome here, except instead of bullshit uh, catches, it was bullshit non-reversals. Non yep. But we learned two other things today. First of all, we switched to DirecTV this weekend and it cut out during the, the during fourth the quarter. Yeah. So. Not happy about that. That's one thing. When they guarantee 99% of the time you will have good coverage. So there's that. And number two, now we won't have to go and spend 150 bucks on sweaters. We've been 400. Whatever it was. <clears throat> so we saved money, but in well, the long end, we didn't. <laughs> so. Yet again, the MVP curse still stands. I don't get it. What MVP curse? We're the MVP since 1999, Lose where Kurt Warner won the Super Bowl as the MVP, somehow doesn't win the Super Bowl. And it's not, it's not Brady's fault. He won this goddamn game for them, and that bearded asshole and his stupid game plan. Yeah. I hope Butler gets fucking $60 million somewhere else, because they, they did him wrong. They really... They did him wrong. They did. And everybody's going to say the same. They're, the first thing the reporters are going to ask Belichick is why they didn't play Butler today. Why? When that defense was getting torched, I thought for sure Butler would go in. Nope. He's crying on the sideline. Like, come on. Why would you do that to the guy that saved your Super Bowl 49? Don't treat a guy that way. You James harrison him like the Steelers did. Yep. What is wrong with you? I don't know. I mean, yeah, he had... Butler's a good player! I don't know. If I was him, I would just... He's a clutch player. I know he has been up and down this year, but when you look at the damn defense and it's not playing well, when Eric Rowe looks like, the wor looks like a guy off the street, put Butler in! And Vatamosi cut his ass too. And by the way, you know who's really not happy today? I guarantee you secretly he's not. Is Carson Wentz. Because his career is now over in Philly. Because Nick Foles is your new starting quarterback. After the last, what? After the last four games? On three games? No, yeah. four. Because they had to, No, three. They had to buy. And the regular season. If, you, if Foles did not do enough to earn you your start, that starting job over in Carson Wentz. I don't know. What the hell did the man have to do? Maybe it took him a couple of years on the bench to finally get back to it. He team, looked so. like Peyton Manning out there. In the regular season anyway. But still. I don't know. 
So Carson Wentz is probably actually thinking, God damn, I wanted to win, but I didn't want him to look that good. Yeah. Because he knows. I guarantee you he goes on the trade block. Guarantee it, and then Denver or somebody will probably pick him up. Probably. He's definitely being traded. There's no way Carson Wentz is starting for Philadelphia next year. Because who would they start? You have to start Foles. He just, he just went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Brady. Yeah. And did enough to win. He did. He Vikings that defense. He did. Just now, granted, Brady still outplayed him. That's because he's Tom Brady. Yeah, but still. But he did. He was good. Unbelievable. So. I guess the Eagles were, I don't know. Guaranteed their damn victory, so. Enjoy it, because that's the only ring you guys are going to get. For a long time. And I say that because the NFC East is the weirdest division in football where the previous winner does not win that division. Yeah, they'll be bad next year. Well, as far as New England is concerned, it's time to clean they're, the house. They're, I mean, they could very easily make the Super Bowl again next year, but that's really hard to do. I mean, making three Super Bowls, that's why it was so important to win this one. Yep. Well, next but, year will be totally different. And now, of course, some assholes will say, oh, this hurts Brady's legacy. Really? No. The guy made eight Super Bowls. He lost three of them. He's five and three. They still made it. Come on, man. They still made the Super Bowl. This helps Brady's legacy. Making eight Super Bowls? Are you guys, kidding? Gonna, are you kidding me? That's amazing. They were at least there. Like, on, on like other teams. Like, I don't know, Jacksonville or Pittsburgh. Yeah, I know. So, and it's the defense that cost them this game. And, uh, man, I don't know. I keep ranting, but... Oh, can't stop. I thought for sure they were going to win the game when Brady gave them the lead. I thought I thought the defense would get one stop that it needed. And it didn't. It didn't. It never did. Never did. The Eagles did get a ridiculously lucky fourth and one conversion. But in that last drive that they had, second to last drive, not counting the one where they iced it with the field goal. I don't, know, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I've never seen a game where the Patriots' special teams was so bad. Kind of brings back memories of a couple of years ago when they were bad. Like this felt like the 2011 defense, man. And it felt like the 2015. Remember when they had all those issues two years ago with the punt return, the punts and yeah, the, the I know. kicks and but everything? Yeah, I know. it's not the offense, man. It, Amendola was great in this game. Gronk was great in this game. Hogan was good. Hogan was good. They Brady were... was good. The line was good. It told them very White was good. Lewis was good. They were all good. They all stepped up when they needed to. The defense. What was What do you need Tom Brady to do? I mean, the guy is is amazing, but he's not freaking Jesus here. Yeah. You need some help. I mean, they got to revamp this defense. Well, so I I'd, I'd like to see them. I'm getting tired of, of not of not getting a, a, a serious edge rusher here. I'd like to see him keep James Harrison because the guy still is okay. But I'd like to see them spend some money and get the best edge rusher on the market because this this lack of a pass rush so has do you think got to stop. Some of the people they got rid of is hurting us now. Like yeah, Chandler Jones not being there is a problem. Yeah. It showed up in this game. He had the highest number of sacks this Pay season. the guy. They need a Von Miller on this defense. That's what they're missing. Yeah, if they had that. And Belichick, it drives me crazy that he just wants to scheme with the secondary. Get a fucking pass rush. Well. It's just, it's frustrating because they had, they had a Von Miller in Chandler Jones. And they let him go. And they let him go because they didn't want to pay him. Bonehead decision. Hey, the guy, come on. And then they traded Jamie Collins, which I get because Collins was an asshole who played his own defense. But the Patriots in the offseason, they have got to fix their defense. Fix their defense. And they, all they need is an edge rusher. That's all they need. That's all they need. Maybe an interior rush guy, but you got Trey Flowers. He's good in the interior. If you just get another edge rusher, that's good. You know, but you have to waste a freaking draft pick on a quarterback. Yep. So their first round pick has to go to a quarterback. 
I'd prefer them not to draft a quarterback and just keep Hoyer, assume that Brady will be still great, and make your first pick the best edge rusher in the draft. And if there's not going to be one available at number 31, trade for one. Either trade up yeah. or, or go into free agency, get a good one if you can, or trade. Franchise Malcolm Butler, since obviously you don't like the guy, well, yeah. no, actually probably ruined his trade value by not playing him. Probably. Whatever, maybe we should do a whole separate video on what we want them to do in the off season, Or we'll no, wait. No, we'll just do it here. It's fine. Well, it's going to cut off again, so. Is it? Yeah, it's getting close to that point. Yeah, this is terrible. Mm. Oh, I don't know. Brady is, uh... If I'm Brady, I'm furious at Patricia. I'm furious at the defense. Well, he's gone, so... Well, Good. we think. We think he's gone. No, he's gone. He was, he, was he officially named the yes, head coach? Yes, I think he was. Are you sure? I'm sure. You think they'll take their decision and think about it for no, a day No, they're not going to think about it. You're getting out of frame here. They, they need to, they got to get rid of him because I've, I've always had my problems with Patricia. Yeah. I, this year was just bad. As far as McDaniels, I, I like him better than Patricia, but just let Brady call his own plays. He knows what the hell he's doing. He, brought, he picked apart that, that so-called elite defense like it was nothing. Just let him do that. Let him, let him call his own plays. That's all you got to do. The other thing is the Patriots got to figure out these run pass options because they're getting killed by him. Yep. I mean, they're getting killed by him. It's another thing I don't understand. I don't understand why in that Jacksonville game, the Patriots were, were doing fake looks. They didn't do that in this game. Why? Why? I don't know. Can you tell me? They did it early on and then they stopped. I mean, unless I'm just missing it, well, that's possible. I, I just, the game is so close, it's kind of hard to pay attention to everything, but... <sighs> I'm pissed off, man. i got to check my damn direct TV and see if that shit works now. I ain't happy about that. Goes out in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. I already signed the damn contract. Well, I guess we probably well, should go. wrap it up here. I guess we can wrap it up. This will be up sometime Monday night. Yeah, I guess so. Whatever. Take me a long time this to is edit. rising, and uh, I don't know what to tell you. This was a terrible defensive game plan that really robbed Brady of a six ring. He could have been at that Michael Jordan level with six rings, and. They, the defense stole it from him. Third Super Bowl, defense steals it from him. Again, third time's the charm. Why not? I just, I just don't get it. The game's way closer than the score says, by the way. It's gonna cut off. All right, I'm gonna end it. This is rising. And Liz. Take care.